Hey, I'm Damon Thayer, State Senator for the 17th District, which includes a big chunk of Northern Kentucky. I represent Scott County in Central Kentucky, and then in Northern Kentucky I represent Owen, Grant, and 50,000 people in Southern Kenton County, including Independence, Taylor Mill, and Southern Unincorporated Kenton County. I've been in the Senate for 10 years, and I am the Majority Floor Leader. I'm Senator Paul Hornback. I'm from Shelbyville. Uh, I represent Shelby, Bullitt, and Spencer counties. Uh, just so happens last year during redistricting, I did serve. Uh, I did uh, represent part of Boone County for about five days. Uh, but uh, I'm a farmer in Shelby County. Been in the state senate for two years. I'm chair of the Senate Ag Committee. I think the need for industrial yeah, for legalizing industrial hemp production right now is to position Kentucky so we take advantage of the opportunity if it come about, comes about when the federal government lifts through the legalization or makes it legal to grow hemp in, Kentucky, in the United States. I think it's important to remember that Senate Bill 50 does not legalize hemp in Kentucky. It just establishes a regulatory framework through the Kentucky Department of Agriculture that once the federal government, if, if and when the federal government does choose to lift the ban on industrial hemp, which has existed in this country since World War II. If, once that ban is lifted, we want to be at the forefront. We want Kentucky to be at the forefront to restart hemp production because prior to the ban, Kentucky was one of the top industrial hemp producing states in the nation and it can create a lot of much needed jobs here in Kentucky. I think it's hard to measure what the economic opportunity is going to be there because it's not legal in the United States. The one thing we do know is that it's being produced all over the world. We know that here in the United States we're the largest importer of hemp products, of raw hemp products. And we know it's being used here in the United States. We think that if it was grown legally here in the United States, which we hope that uh, federal legislation will come about in Kentucky, we'll get ours passed this year, that when that happens, that we will see a new industry flourish in Kentucky that not only helps our farmers that have been displaced because of tobacco production that declines there, but also for the processing and manufacturing industry that this market will really start to grow. We know it's being used here, we know it's all being imported, and we know that it help not only Kentucky but the rest of the nation. There are so many uses for hemp, and hemp is used in a lot of products already in the United States. Uh, cosmetic products, hair care products, rope, clothing. Uh, there was just a, just a recent big order for uh, a company in southern Kentucky, Monroe County, to manufacture hemp jeans. Uh, so we have to import the hemp from Canada to make the jeans, but these jeans from Kentucky made of hemp are being shipped to New York City to be sold uh, up, up, in, uh, up in the big shopping district in, in, in New York City. So we, we know that there is a demand for it, and if it, Kentucky can be a part of, of the supply, uh, that there will be farm jobs, manufacturing jobs, uh, as well as perhaps jobs created by uh, companies that are using hemp to manufacture everything from clothing to, to cosmetic products. We'd like to see the Chamber Advocacy Network put to work in support of Senate Bill 50. Uh, the Kentucky uh, Chamber of Commerce, the state chamber, has already endorsed it. We'd like to see the Northern Kentucky Chamber endorse it. And it's, it's not just a farm issue. Uh, we have to remember how important Kentucky's agriculture economy is to the overall economy of Kentucky. Uh, we, we, we're the largest cattle producing state, beef cattle producing state east of the Mississippi. Our horse industry is critical. Our crops like tobacco and corn and wheat and soybeans are extremely important to our economy. And this would just be one other element of our agriculture economy to, to, to hopefully create jobs and economic activity here in the Commonwealth. So the Chamber's support is critical to its passage in, in, in the General Assembly. What the Chamber can do for us, the uh, Kentucky Chamber has already endorsed the bill. You know, we need your network to go out there to promote Senate Bill 50 to help us get that bill passed because it's all, as the Chamber is all made up of business people, they know about positioning themselves for their business, can take advantage of opportunities. That's what we want Kentucky to do, for us to be first, for us to be in a uh, position. We can take advantage of the opportunity when federal legislation is passed.